Ehre and welcome to the 10th video of our series History Lessons with Red Wine Lover 17. In the last video I introduced you to the HMS Hawkins. We are now advancing to T5 and are looking at the heavy cruiser HMS Devonshire. HMS Devonshire was the fifth ship of her name to serve in the Royal Navy and named after the county of Devon. She had a length of approximately 193 meters, a beam of 20 meters and a draught of 6.3 meters. HMS Devonshire was powered by Parsons geared steam turbines driving four shafts, which developed a total of 80,000 shaft horsepower and a maximum speed of 32.35 knots or yeah, almost 60 km per hour. In game, the Devonshire is significantly slower, reaching only 31.3 knots. The Devonshire mounted four 203mm twin gun turrets, as well as four single mount 102mm guns. In Legends, the ship has the same main battery, but instead of single secondary mounts, she features twin guns. The same happened with her AA guns, while the torpedo tubes correspond to the original layout of two quadruple tubes. The county class heavy cruiser of the London subclass was laid down on 16th March 1926 and launched on 22nd October 1927. After her completion in March 1929, she and her three sister ships London, which is also available in-game, Sussex and Shropshire, were assigned to the first cruiser squadron of the Mediterranean fleet. There, the ship spent most of her time before the outbreak of World War II with a short stint with the China Station between 1932 and 1933. Her first mishap occurred in an accident on 26th July 1929 during gunnery training. The left gun of her X turret, which was the third turret from the front, misfired. When the breech block was opened, the propellant charge inside the barrel detonated, igniting the charge for the next round. The explosion killed 18 crew members and Devonshire had to return to England for repair works. Brief digression. What is a breech block? Well, this is the part of a firearm action that closes the breech of a breech loading weapon before or at the moment of firing. A breech loader is a firearm which is loaded via the breech or rear end of its barrel. The opposite is a muscle loader which loads ammunition via the front of its barrel. But let's get back to business and fast forward to the beginning of the Second World War. In September 1939, HMS Devonshire was initially stationed in the Mediterranean, but transferred to home fleet a few months later. On November 23, 1939, the famous German battleships Scharnhorst and Gneisenau sank the armed merchant cruiser Raverpindi near the Faroes. Devonshire, as well as the battleships Nelson and Rodney, sailed from the Clyde to find the German ships but failed. In March 1940, the HMS Devonshire became the flagship of the 1st Cruiser Squadron and was ordered to cover Scotland, the Faroes and Iceland in order to interdict the German iron ore traffic from Norway to Germany. On June 7th, she evacuated King Hakon VII, Crown Prince Olaf, Prime Minister Johann Nigerswold and other Norwegian government officials from Tromsø. While carrying out this task, she passed within 80 kilometers of the battle in which Scharnhorst and Gneisenau sank the aircraft carrier Glorious and two destroyers. Due to their important passengers, the Devonshire was prohibited from intervening in the action. Devonshire was then transferred to Force M, the Royal Navy component of Operation Menace, which was a planned naval attack on Dakar, Senegal, prior to a landing by the Free French on August 28th. On the 14th of September, Devonshire unsuccessfully tried to locate and turn back a Vichy French cruiser squadron bound for Dakar. However, after two days of battling in poor visibility, the attack was abandoned. On the second day alone, Devonshire had fired 200 shells from her main guns without scoring a single hit. I guess you can count that as her second mishap. The cruiser stayed in the South Atlantic and participated in the hunt for the German commerce raider Cormoran in January 41. 
The Cormoran is a quite interesting ship, especially because it was originally the merchant vessel Steiermark, or in English, Styria. And Styria is the region in the south of Austria in which the Wildgänse live. Fine, so the Devonshire was tasked with finding and sinking the Cormoran, but you guessed it, failed. Which is quite problematic, as the Cormoran got away and sunk For example, the Australian light cruiser Sydney, with all hands a few months later. Well, third mishap, I'd say. HMS Devonshire was then transferred back to home fleet and escorted British carriers when they raided Kikines and Petsamo in Norway and Finland in July 41. A few months later, she was transferred to the Eastern Fleet for escort duties before returning to the home fleet in April 1944. After the war, The ship was converted into a cadet training ship in 47 and served in this role until 1954, when she was finally sold for scrap and broken up. With that said, our video on HMS Devonshire comes to an end as well. If you liked the video, please subscribe to our channel and give us a like. We'll be back with more gameplay videos soon, and next time we're gonna reach tier 6 heavy cruiser HMS Surrey. See you soon, and dere!